All right, and up next, let's take a look at another approach where we can set up named exports. And this is definitely something we're going to use during the course, but again, I want to stress something. This only makes sense if you have a bunch of components in the folder. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And effectively, we'll definitely use this one when we're going to work with React Router, because in that case, you have quite a few pages, and it just makes easier if you set up such named exports. So first we want to navigate to the starter and we want to create another folder. And in this case, let's call this pages. Now inside of the pages, what we want to do, we want to create two pages, the home page and the about page. And little spoiler alert, when we're talking about pages in React, essentially we're just talking about the components. So I'm just going to create here home JSX. I just need to remind myself all the time that I need to go with JSX. So we want to set this one up. This is going to be our home page. And then we want to do the same thing with about. So about and then JSX. Same deal, we want to create that. This is going to be our about page. And if we navigate back to app JSX, I mean, everything is awesome. We'll be able to access the pages, same deal. We go here. And then we also want to go with about. So this doesn't change. But notice how we're getting quite a few lines of code over here. And imagine if you have 10 pages. So essentially, every time you want to use all of them, you'll have like, I don't know, 20 lines of code or something like that. And there's a way how we can simplify this. So first, let me remove this number. We're not going to need that. And back in our pages, we can create another index JSX. So remember, that's going to be our entry point over here. And we can import the components from this directory. So essentially, we can do like this, I can go with home. So I'm importing home. And I also want to do the same thing for about like so. So I'm going to go with about and then from the index, I want to export that. So I'm going to go with export. And I'm going to go with home and about. And essentially, if you have 20 components, this is what you'll do. You'll import all of them in the index JSX and you'll export them. And the beauty here is that if I go back to app JSX, I don't have to provide the path for every component. I can do like this. Let me remove. Now these ones are named exports. So the names need to match. That's something important. So in here, I do need to go with home. And I do need to go with about. If you'll go here with contact or whatever, it's not going to work. So first, let me just showcase how this works. And then we'll take a look at the error example as well. So now let me remove home. Because notice now we're looking for that index. And check it out, everything still works. So essentially, if you have 20 components, you can nicely import them effectively in one line of code. No, I mean, the path is a little bit longer. So it's technically two. But Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. So instead of using the import for every component, we're going to import all of them together. Again, we set up index JSX in that folder. That's going to be the entry point. And one by one, we grab those components and then we export them. But again, keep in mind, if you're going to do here like this, if you'll say, hey, get me the contact. What do you think is going to happen? Well, we'll have big fat error, right? So if we'll save, notice it says, well, there is no named export contact. That's just something to keep in mind. Now, you can set up the aliases and all that. I'm not going to go as deep in these examples. We'll just stick with the ones that we just covered. So this is a nice way how we can group all of our components together and export them as named exports.